Shabbat, brothers and sisters, Hebrews in Jamaica, the Caribbean, the West, to the four corners of the earth scattered greetings. This Shabbat lesson will be talking about Henrietta Marie, the oldest slave ship of Jamaica. But before we go into that research, and knowledge of the oldest slave ship, we have to put context of why these things happen in the first place, right? And proves who are the children of Yashrael, the Hebrews of scriptures of the old. All right, so let us turn to. Deuteronomy 28, right? 16, 11, King James, right? Deuteronomy 28, 63 to 68. And it shall come to pass that as Yahuwah rejoiced over you to do good, to do you good, and to multiply you, so Yahuwah will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught. And ye shall be plucked from off the land with whither thou goest to possess it. Right? And Yahuwah shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. We are doing this right now, Yashrael. We are doing this right this minute. Right? And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. We have no peace amongst our enemies. No peace. Day and night we work for little or nothing. We've been killed by the slave catchers, aka police, because that's that's how the police force was formed. Right? They formed their coalition to go after the slaves to catch them. The one who escaped to go and catch them and bring them back to the plantation to Massa. That's how the first police organization began through the catching of free slaves who shall escape from the oppression and shadow slavery. But Yahuwah shall give thee there a trembling heart. Right? Are we not having a trembling heart today too? Also then and now? Right? They come up, they come up with this elaborate scheme of pandemic and scary tactic with virus and all that stuff. I'm not saying sickness don't exist. It does for the beginning of time until now. Right? But this pandemic is used for a scary tactic to give you a trembling heart so it could be easily manipulated and lied to. And, and many of my people love to have it so because they put their trust in man rather than put their trust in the most high. 
right? And falling of eyes and sorrow of mind, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of life, right? Verse 67. In the morning thou shalt say, Would Elohim it were even? And at even thou shalt say, Would Elohim it were morning? For the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sign of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. For thou shalt see, and Yahuwah shall bring thee into Egypt again. So let's 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 address this Egypt again, right? Because if we read through our scripture, throughout the law, right, we have been captured many times. Jerusalem has been captured many, many times. Um, the children of Yahshua went into captivity many, many times. You see, like we keep repeating the same thing over and over, the same disobedience, the same stiff, stiff neckedness over and over, then with our forefathers. And even today in this 22nd, in this year 2022, right? Have we not learned anything, stiff necked Yashrael? Right? Have we not learned anything from our forefathers? Right? Right? Okay. Would would Elohim it were even and at even right thou shalt say would would Elohim it were mourning for the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see and Yahuwah shall bring thee into Egypt again. Alright. Again so Egypt, when 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 the Mosai sent Moshe or Moses to Egypt, that was the first Egypt. Egypt means house of bondage, the first servitude. With Egypt, house of bondage. Right. And again, which is this twenty-first century shatter slavery. Right, shatter slavery. So Egypt has a bonding. So for us who were taken by way of ship, again as the most I speak unto us, we came to Jamaica, the Americas, Barbados, Trinidad, Haiti, you know what I mean? Grenada, so forth. Right? For us, that was our house of bondage again. So Egypt for us. So I just want to make that clear. With ships, by the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. And this took place, and that prophecy fulfilled among only one particular sect of people, which is so called black people, another byword so called. African American, that's another by word, even though we can't be two nations at one. We can't be African or American. So either we are African or we are American. We can't be both. And we know the people who were descendants of Hebrew say who came to America by force and Jamaica and Haiti and so forth. We are not Africans, and that is already proven. Right? We are Hebrews, children of Yashrael. Alright. So Here's another precept of the many sins of our forefathers. Alright. So let's turn. Alright. Let's turn to first Esdras eight, sixty-eight to ninety. One of the many sins of our forefathers. Right? First Esdras eight. 68 to 90 King James Apocrypha 1611 Now when these things were done the rulers came unto me and said The nation of Yashrael, the princes, the priests, and Levites 
have not put away from them strange people right strange people mean other nation strange people mean strange women for the men and the sons strange right they are strange people of the land nor the pollution of the Gentiles to wit of the Canaanites the Hittites the Pharisites the Jebusites and the Moabites the Egyptians the Enomites, for both they and their sons have married with the daughters and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land so you see you see how where we start the transgression right mixing with other nation giving our sons to them and our daughters to them hmm? polluting the holy seed right and from the beginning of this matter the rulers and the great men have been partakers of this iniquity so you see the Mokai mark this action as iniquity sin a transgression right and as soon as I had heard these things so all these people in this modern day these females and these males who leave in their own race to go enhance another thinking that you will be accepted by them you're living in delusion you're fooling yourself right and it marked as iniquity in the sight of the most side so you can you can you can be all up in your feelings all you want but at the end of the day is thus said Yahuwah right come man can I save you fear the one that can kill both body and soul don't fear the one that only can kill body right so you black men out there who practicing this type of behavior prepare for judgment likewise with the women so-called black women and so-called black men who is practicing this type of behavior prepare for judgment because you you're trying to you you aiding the enemy in destroying your own self your own existence but thanks be to the Most High Yahuwah in Yahushua Amashiach name. He knows how to preserve his seed. And he shall, and he shall root out all the rebellious among Yashorel. And it's only going to be a remnant that will be saved. Say it Yahuwah. Alright. Verse 71. And as soon as I had heard these things, I rent my clothes and the holy garment and pulled off the hair from off my head and beard and sat me down and very heavy so all they that were then moved at the word of Yahuwah Eloakim of Yashorel assembled so, right so all they that were then moved at the word of Yahuwah through what through who Ezra's right right so all they that were then moved at the word of Yahweh came of Yashorel assembled unto me whilst I mourn for the iniquity right but I sat still full of heaviness until the evening sacrifice then rising up from the fast with my clothes and the holy garment rent and bowing my knees and stretching forth my hands unto Yahuwah I said O Yahuwah I am confounded and ashamed before thy face for our sins are multiplied above our heads and our ignorances have reached up unto heaven verse 76 for ever since the time of our fathers we have been we have been and are in great sin even until this day this very day right 2022 right this very day and for our sins our forefathers we with our brethren and our kings and our priests 
were given up unto the kings of the earth, to the sword, and to captivity, and for a prey, with shame, right? With shame unto this day. Are we not filled with shame until this day, Yashrael? Stiff necky Yashrael? Hmm? Hebrews? Are we not filled with shame to this day? We are at the bottom of the pit. And it was not it was not meant to be so. Because the word was made for us. But because our disobedience is temporarily given over to the wicked. To reign for a short period of time. And they shall be judged for all the wickedness they have done against Yashrael. Right? 78. And now in some measure hath mercy been shown unto us from thee, O Yahuwah, that there should be left us a root and a name in the place of thy sanctuary, and to discover unto us a light in the house of Yahuwah our Eloakim, and to give us food in the time of our servitude. Right? Verse 80. Yea, when we were in bondage, we were not forsaken of 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 our Yahuwah. He made us gracious before the kings of Persia, right? So all these things we is listen a little bit of the captivity that we were in Persia, right? We were still together, right? So the only captivity we were not together was this last, the second uh, slavery by ways of ship, the second house of bondage, Egypt. We were dispersed among other nations. But all the captivity we went through, we were all together. So it was easy for us to keep the commandments and practice the feast days. Right? Right? So that they gave us food, yea, and honored the temple of our, of our Yahuwah and raised up the desolate Zion that they have given us Ashura by the injury and Jerusalem. All right, and now, O Yahuwah, what shall we say, having these things? For we have transgressed thy commandments, which thou gavest by the hand of thy servants, the prophets, saying, That the land which ye enter into to possess as a heritage is a land polluted with the pollution of strangers of the land, and they have filled it with their uncleanliness. Right? Strangers mean other people, other nations. And also reference to strange people, strangers, women, strange women also. Right? Alright. So therefore now shall he not join. Right? 84. Therefore now shall he not join our daughters unto their sons neither shall ye take their daughters unto your sons moreover ye shall never seek to have peace with them that ye may be strong and eat the good things of the land and that ye may live that ye may leave the inheritance of the land unto your children forevermore and all that is befallen is done unto us for our wicked works and great sins before thou. O Yahuwah, didst make our sins light and didst give unto us such a root, but we have turned back again to transgressions, to that to the transgression of thy law. You see, of all the things we go into back and forth with the most high, he showed you. His power in Egypt. Show his mighty acts. Among the heathen. And yet. We turn back to transgression. Of thy law. Indeed we are stiff naked. That's why. Not all of us shall be saved. And the rebellious among children of Yashorel. The those that keep his commandments shall be destroyed. Just the way it is. Sad, it wasn't the will of the Most High, but it is what it is. Right? For thou, O Yahuwah, didst make our sins light, and didst give unto us 
such a road, but we have turned back again to transgression, to, to, to transgress thy law, and to mingle ourselves with uncleanliness of the nations of the land. Right? That's exactly what we did. We turned back again, right? And transgressed the laws, and to mingle ourselves with the uncleanliness of the land, the nation of the land. In America here. We mingle ourselves with uncleanness. The pork eat it. Right? The false god worship. Their idols, their feast days, Halloween, Christmas, birthdays, Thanksgiving. All that uncleanness and godliness that has nothing to do with Yashorel. You partake in this foolishness. And then you expect the Mosai to accept your wickedness. You see? There's no unrighteousness in the most side. There's no evil. Evil cannot come near the most side. So then why you want the most I accept you? Stiff Nicky Yashorel. Wake up. The same thing in Jamaica. Wake up. The same thing in Haiti. Wake up. Barbados, Trinidad. Grenada. Wake up. Caribbean Islands. Wake up. Right? Alright, let's go to 87. Verse 87. Let's read this over again. And did this give unto us such a root, but we have turned back again to transgress thy law and to mingle ourselves with uncleanliness of the nations of the land. Mightest not thou be angry with us to destroy us till thou hadst left us neither root, seed, nor name. O Yahuwah of Yashrael, thou art true, for we are left a root this day. You see, this is still, still mercy, even through all that, it still shows mercy. It still, it still left us a root. Hmm? Because of why? Not because of us. It's because of the promise and the covenant he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? Alright. Behold, now are we before thee in our iniquity, in our iniquities. For we cannot stand any longer by reason of these things before thee. May Yahuwah have mercy upon us. Right? May Yahuwah have mercy upon us. All right, so we got the precept out the way. Let's dive into Henrietta Marie. All right, Henrietta Marie. That's the name of the oldest slave ship ever excavated off the coast of Florida. Right. Jamaica slave ships, the oldest slave ship ever excavated. All right. The oldest slave ship ever excavated wrecked off Florida in 1700 is yielding a multitude of artifacts and blood curdling history. She was a British merchant ship employed in cruel commerce, her sweltering hold cramped with human shuttle it was 18 it was the 18th of may 1700 and the henrietta marie was nearing the coast of jamaica right her final destination before the long ride back to england the ship had left africa with as many as 300 captives sold into slavery by fellow africans right you see that by fellow african even though we are of the same skin tone we're not the same kind right the africans their tribal name or biblical name is hamite ham, ham. they're from the center of ham one of noah some they call hamites right they also mix mixed with with Esau and mingle with Esau too 
because they both practice same religion islam muslim saudi arabia you have black saudi arabia over there which are esau right that's why i always say when you get a chance you know study the, the arab slave trade before the transatlantic slave trade even the fake jews had a part in enslaving us as well right likely of rival tribes mostly from iron and copper right most of iron and copper bars offered by the british crew many died along the way slave ship mortality averaged 20 percent as land appeared on the horizon uh, on the flat horizon flat on the horizon captain thomas chamberlain anxious to conduct business ordered his crew to prepare the prisoners for arrival go added go added on to deck men women and children were fed cleaned shaved and oiled their wounds finally tended in preparation for sale so you see they didn't take care of them until time time for them to be sold right on the on, on the market right for cheap price like black friday huh <laughs> black friday at port royal naked and in chains slaves went on the auction block right at port royal naked and in chains Hebrew slaves went on the auction block. Potential buyers might prod their bellies, poke fingers in their mouths to check their teeth and even taste their sweat. Thought by some to be a gouge of health. By one estimate, Henrietta Marie's cargo grossed well over. 3,000 euros, more than 400,000 today. For the ship's investors, most of the captives were headed for a sugar plantation where they'd be worked to exhaustion. Many died within 5 to 10 years. Their fate was not Chamberlain's concern. Hmm? They don't care about you, Yashrael. They never will. It's not in their nature to do so. But yet still you cleave onto them. That with that Stockholm syndrome. Keep envying them. Want to be them. Cut off in natural beautiful woolly hair to straighten it out. To look like your oppressor. Hmm? Fake eyelash. Fake nails. Fake this. Everything fake about you. Hmm? Well, at one time you was real and in tune with the mercy and yourself. Now all of a sudden now, you're 100% fake. Nothing about you is real. Not even your body you're walking. Because many of you, many of you put on all sorts of enhancement to what the Creator had given you. Nothing more beautiful than what the Creator has given you. Whatever enhancement man gave you is folly. And you see... Your body is rejecting all that folly and fakeness you put on your body because it's not supposed to be there in the first place. Right? Their fate was not Chamberlain's concern. Captains and crew weighed anchor in late June and set a homeward course. Their ship now packed with New World sugar. See? New World sugar. New World. New World order. New World sugar cotton wood indigo and leftover trade goods but storms plagued the exit and the ship foundered on new ground reef 34 miles 55 kilometers off key west florida all aboard perished at sea it was nearly 300 years before treasure hunters employed by sal salvagers by salvager mel by salvager Mel Fisher raised the first relics from the wreck, but their passion was gold, and they soon abandoned the slaver to search for richer ships. In the 1980s and the 90s, 
other divers other divers continued to salvage as scientists began conserving the rescued items today those scientists are in the water examining the ship's fragile hull and coaxing the last artif artifacts from the sand their work is key henrietta marie is the oldest slaver ever excavated and one of the only a handful from american waters says marine archaeologist david moore she's a vital piece of history all right so you got a piece of history of henrietta which a lot of my jamaican so-called jamaican who are hebrews of the tribe of benjamin of the royal house of yashua did not know blessed be yahuwah blessed be yahuwah blessed be yahuwah in yahushua hamashiach name the world called christ blessed shabbat brothers and sisters amen This world of hell in your side Destruction is the ultimate price People open up your eyes Only yellow, only yellow Created you and I.